So a few weeks ago, I was visiting with my mom and I was helping her install several new WISE cameras to have some surveillance around her house. And while we were doing this, I was noticing some of the cameras that were maybe far outside set up with the floodlights were really struggling to get a strong Wi-Fi connection. It was at this point I asked her to pull up fast.com on her smartphone, her iPhone, and the result that she received was honestly shocking. She was inside her house and her score was so low, I had to save it. 14 megabits per second. Absolutely dreadful, dreadful speed. I said, mom, what are you paying for? And it's like, don't you have fiber through TDS Telecom here in Knoxville, Tennessee? She said, yes, we're paying a decent amount. We're supposed to be getting 650 and she got 14. That is obviously a very large problem and I feel like this is a problem that I would bet a lot of people probably have. A lot of people are probably getting nowhere near the speed that they're paying for because they've made the mistake of using the ISP provided modem or router. In this case the router was absolutely at fault. I went upstairs, I plugged my Surface Go 3 in to Ethernet with a little USB-C hub. And guess what I got? 650, it went full maximum. But on the Wi-Fi, no matter where you stood, the highest I could get was around 120, 150. Absolutely terrible speed coming from their ISP provided Eero brand router. It was a router with one satellite. So after that happened, I said, mom, you need a new router set up. This thing is just not good. So she asked me to find something for her. And I said, I'm gonna do one better. I'm gonna send an email to TP-Link and see if they wanna help us out and use this as an opportunity to talk about how much better their router is than what you had, this Eero router. And luckily for me, TP-Link wanted to cooperate and they sent out one heck of a router system. What we're looking at here today is the TP-Link Deco AXE 5400 tri-band Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. This is not your average system. This thing is $399, but it's a router with two additional satellites. And the range on this thing, 7,200 square feet of coverage. Like I said, Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5G WAN and LAN port. This thing should be extraordinarily fast. And I'm assuming is going to solve all of her problems with her Wi-Fi. After this is done being set up, I bet all of her cameras are going to be working perfectly and she's gonna be getting full speed pretty much all across her house. Because again, we're moving from that junky Eero ISP provided thing to something far, far better. I'm gonna drop a link in the description to this product on Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. If you buy it through that link, it does help support the channel. But with all that being said, we're gonna pack this stuff up in the car. We're gonna to head to my mom's house and let's get this thing set up, full walkthrough of this setup, take a look at the app, and let's see what that after result is going to be. So I've commandeered my mom's phone here to get this thing set up. So we're gonna click on the Let's Begin button, and we just need to type in the model for this router. Now what's strange is that the box says AXE 5400. However, the actual model number for this one is XE75 Pro. I'm not sure why they're slightly different like that, but it is what it is. So what you'll need, find these things in your packaging, which of course I have, power off your modem, and then plug in the devices as you can see there on that diagram. Now one really cool thing about these routers is that your satellite versus your router, they're all the same. So any of these could be a satellite, any of them could be the actual router. So it does not matter which one you pick up and start with. So as you can see here, we have it all set up. It's plugged in. This is actually where the internet is coming from. This is it going back out and into the computer that it is setting on. And we should be able to move on to the next step. So we are currently in the solid yellow phase. So we went to we're pulsing blue and then we're ready to proceed with the setup. As you can see here, we are now pulsing blue so we can proceed. Turn on Wi-Fi and find your deco. So we're going to look for that and it's, it's picking it up on its own which is awesome where have you placed this deco we're going to call this the office that's i think the closest thing that we can call this area so it has connected the connection type which everything looks good we're going to click on next let's create your wi-fi network so now i'm just going to name it exactly what it was before so that all of their devices should just reconnect and be off and running and after that, it should go through with that process of creating that Wi-Fi network. And I'm curious how quickly this is gonna happen, how quickly it's gonna switch over and pop up on my Z Fold here 
and be connected and running. Wow, just like that, that was actually really, really quick. It is already connecting. And as you can see here, that is uh, Wi-Fi 6, which is going to be a lot faster. Let's go ahead and now connect on the iPhone. We're gonna join. And we're pretty much done with the hard part of this, I believe. Now the next step is gonna be actually plugging in the satellites, which is a fairly easy process. Your Deco network is now up and running. So now we're gonna add those additional Decos. And basically it says here, I went too far, but basically after you plug them in, it's going to find them and set this up pretty much for you from here. So you can already see the speed is gonna be a lot faster than it was before. And in fact, let's go to the speed test website on Safari and test it. So there you go. What once was 14 is now almost 800. They're actually getting more speed than they are than I was getting on Ethernet on the uh, prior router. That's an incredible improvement in speed. So let's get these satellites going now. So we have strategically chosen the first spot for the first satellite, and as you can see, it is now green. So I wonder if that means it's actually already grabbed it. The app does not seem to see it just yet. Let's try restarting the app and see if it sees it. Sometimes it does this automatically. Sometimes there it is. There is the second satellite already seen. So let's go ahead and select that. And we should be able to go in here and then name it, give it like a location so that it's easier for people to like know what we're looking at. So since this is in the laundry room of all places, we're gonna save it like that and save it like that. And we should be good to go. And as you can see, two things have already grabbed this connection, and I'm really curious to see which ones they are. It looks like it's just a couple of phones. Hopefully the cameras outside do end up getting as well. The signal is strong, so that is great. Let's now move on and get the second satellite rolling. Satellite number two is plugged in, and again, what you're waiting for is for this light to go from this yellowish orangish color to uh, blinking blue, and eventually it will turn green because, again, it should find it on its own. If it doesn't find it on its own, you can go into that Deco app, plus the, press the plus sign up in the top right corner, and set it up manually from there, but that shouldn't happen. All in all, this automatic process should take less than just a handful of minutes. So at that point, we're pretty much done. The one thing I wanted to show you guys, I've already obviously shown you the speed that is wildly improved from before. But one of the things that she was having issues with were her WISE cameras. Like I said, some of them just not connecting quickly enough. So we're going to launch the WISE app. And I'll show you kind of what we're dealing with here. So the inside cameras were never really much of a problem. And you can see that they're, they're connecting and streaming live pretty quickly. It's hard to do this while looking at a screen. The outside cameras, some of them are, they're floodlights and they're through brick walls and they're all the way outside, but see how much quicker, I guess I didn't show you before, but just trust me, that's very, very fast. Before she was having issues with cameras never wanting to connect at all. Now it is very, very fast. These things seem to have solved her problems in myriad ways, looking really, really good. So guys, I'm back home and I'm honestly blown away. I was hopeful that those wise cameras would load a little bit faster. But when I showed my mom how much faster they were loading, it, it absolutely blew her mind. She couldn't believe how much faster they were running. They could immediately tell a difference on their phones and their tablets, how much quicker things were moving around them before. And before you say, Shane, clearly their old router was defective or something like that. I want to point something out to you guys. That was their second router. They'd already had it replaced once. I should have mentioned the first part of the video, but that's why we're doing this. That was the second time they've had that router. Already replaced once, it still had that problem. So it needed to be totally replaced. So now they can give that thing back to TDS and can stop paying for it monthly and they're done. They're absolutely set up and their speeds are flying. Guys, when it comes to stuff like this, a lot of the time, you get what you pay for. If you want to have incredible range, incredible speed, have all your cameras working correctly, get the full speed you're already paying for, sometimes the simplest way to do it is to just buy a really, really nice router setup. Something like this is something I absolutely recommend. And in fact, I am using a TP-Link Deco setup in my house that I paid for with my own money and have been extremely satisfied with it as well. So there you go, guys. That is my review of the TP-Link AXE 5400, also known as the Deco XE75 Pro. I am very impressed. The setup process, as you saw, was smooth. The performance is outstanding.
Again, huge thanks to TP-Link for sending this router over for me to test and to do this review. As with all of my reviews, or at least the vast majority of them, they are seeing this video at the exact same time that you are and no money changed hands. They were just confident enough to say, here you go, it's going to be better than what you've got. And in fact, it was. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.